Hey Perry Creek, I hope everyone's doing well. This is Pastor John and it's Transformational Tuesday. <laughs> Actually, it's something much more important than Transformational Tuesday right now. It is Holy Week. You know, this is the most important week of the Christian year, a, a week when we contemplate what Jesus went through, a, a week that we commemorate his death, and a week that we celebrate his resurrection. And, you know, normally we would be having all kinds of special services this week to remember this. Um, you know, on Palm Sunday, we'd have kids running around waving palm branches, and we would have a big meal after church. Uh, we would have like a Maundy Thursday or a Good Friday service during the week. And then for Easter Sunday, we would just gather together and really celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Now, unfortunately, we can't do all of that year, this year. It's impossible. So I want to talk to you today about your phone. <laughs> I want to make you aware of something that we're encouraging everyone to do this year for Holy Week. Um, it's an app on your phone. Now, if you know anything at all about me, you know that if I'm recommending a piece of technology, it must be really good and it must be really easy to use because I'm kind of a technophobe. <laughs> but this app is called uh, Easter Now. It was developed by a couple that teach at Dallas Theological Seminary. They also work with youth, and they wanted a way to keep their students' minds on Jesus during Holy Week, and also a way for them to see how the Old Testament and the New Testament fit together. So they developed this app, and now it's grown to like tens of thousands of subscribers, and it's perfect for our 2020 Stay at Home Holy Week. So what this app does is simple. It just sends you alerts to show you what was going on on this day at this time 2,000 years ago. And then it gives you like a, a map to show you where Jesus was and a kind of a progress bar to show you what's going on. And it puts the scriptures in there, including the Old Testament prophecies that were fulfilled as Jesus went through the events of the week. So for example, yesterday, it talked about Jesus cleansing the temple, and it also talked about him cursing a fig tree that didn't bear the fruit it was supposed to bear. Now, if you've never heard of that story, you can find it and read it on the app right on your phone. Today, it talks about how Jesus taught in the temple and how the disciples saw the fig tree that Jesus had cursed, and they realized it had withered and, and died. So this is a great way to sort of start to learn the outline of the story and to keep your mind on Jesus all week long. So this week, rather than going over a passage today, I just thought that I would encourage you to download this app on your phone. Um, and, and as you discover the story of Jesus, let's keep our minds and our hearts on Jesus all week long and be prepared for a worshipful Easter. Uh, the details of how to uh, load the app on your phone are on the email that came with this reminder. So let's just take a moment to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for Holy Week and for what it means for us. Father, we pray that as we go throughout this week, we won't just be thinking about the, uh, the difficulties of our current situation, that we won't just be living in fear of the virus. We won't just be sad about what's going on. We pray that we will be mindful of you, Jesus. We'll be thinking about what you went through, and we'll be prepared to truly celebrate your resurrection together. For we pray in your name. Amen.